In this video, let's see why atorvastatin is not preferred with uh, gym fibrogel. Atorvastatin belongs to the category of statins, acts by inhibition of HMG CoA reductase enzyme. It is one of the key enzyme in the biosynthesis of cholesterol within the liver. So atorvastatin inhibits this biosynthesis, thereby decrease the cholesterol levels in the liver. Then liver uptakes the cholesterol from the blood, thereby LDL levels within the blood are going to decrease. And then the drug gemfibrozil acts by activation of the PPAR alpha receptors. PPAR is nothing but peroxisome proliferator activated receptors. So these are the nuclear receptors thereby gemfibrozil increases the, the enzyme synthesis. One of the important enzyme is the, the lipoprotein lipase which cause the breakdown of the triglycerides. So gemfibrozil is going to mainly acting on the triglycerides and it decreases the, the triglyceride levels by increasing its breakdown in the tissues. Now, atorvastatin is going to decrease the LDL levels and increase the HDL levels. At the same time, gemfibrozil is going to decrease the VLDL levels as well as decrease the triglyceride levels. You can see that the both of the drugs are acting on the different types of lipoproteins. The atorvastatin is mainly acting on the LDL and gemfibrozil is mainly acting on the VLDL. So there is no uh, interaction between these two drugs at this stage, particularly on the, the lipoproteins as well as the, their drug targets. So when we need this combination, first of all, let us see when we require this combination of uh, atorvastatin and gemfibrozil. Now we have seen that atorvastatin is going to decrease the LDL and increase the HDL, whereas gemfibrozil is going to decrease the VLDL and decrease the triglycerides. So we require this combination when within the body both the LDL as well as VLDL levels are going to increase. One of the dyslipidemia is the type 2B dyslipidemia in which both LDL as well as VLDL levels are going to be increased. In such situation we can use the statins as well as fibrates but this combination is having its own disadvantages. So let us see what are the similar side effects that are produced by atorvastatin and gemfibrogel. Atorvastatin produces liver damage as well as gemfibrogel also produce the liver damage. So when these two drugs are used in combination for a long term use, they can produce the liver failure. This liver failure can also lead to the kidney failure and uh, very important symptoms such as the yellowish coloration, discoloration of the skin as well as fever, fatigue and uh, red colored urine. All these can be produced by this combination when they are used for long term and liver and kidney damage is going to be occurred. Similarly, the fatal side effects produced by these two combinations is very important clinically. Atorvastatin produces rhabdomyolysis. Rhabdomyolysis is a disintegration of the muscle where the muscle is going to be lost slowly by action of these drugs. Gemfibrozil also produces the rhabdomyolysis. So by combined effect of atorvastatin and gemfibrozil, a severe muscle loss is occur leading to muscle pain. A severe muscle loss happens leading to muscle pain. What to do in this situation? So first thing better avoid this combination. We can uh, avoid this combination in order to prevent these fatal side effects. Second one use alternative drugs. One of the alternative drugs for the fibrates is the niacin. And third one adjust the dose of individual drugs. So when we are going to use the both of the drugs, we can decrease the dose so we can minimize the side effects and we can minimize the rhabdomyolysis and liver damage. Monitor for the symptoms of liver damage, kidney damage, muscle pain and muscle loss. If this combination is used, we have to thoroughly monitor for the, the symptoms like liver damage, kidney damage, muscle pain and muscle loss.
So few of the symptoms like already we have discussed the yellowish discoloration of the skin as well as eyes. Similarly reddening of the uh, urine where the blood is going to be present in the urine as well as uh, any muscle pain and muscle disintegration should be immediately uh, monitored and this combination should be stopped whenever these symptoms are observed. Right, so that's about the one of the potential drug interaction between the etorvastatin and gemfibrogel. A severe muscle loss happens, leading to muscle pain. What to do in this situation? So first thing, better avoid this combination. We can uh, avoid this combination in order to prevent these fatal side effects. Second one, use alternative drugs. One of the alternative drug for the fibrates is the niacin. And third one, adjust the dose of individual drugs. So when we are going to use the both of the drugs, we can decrease the dose so we can minimize the side effects and we can minimize the rhabdomyolysis and liver damage. Monitor for the symptoms of liver damage, kidney damage, muscle pain and muscle loss. If this combination is used, we have to thoroughly monitor for the the symptoms like liver damage, kidney damage, muscle pain and muscle loss. So few of the symptoms like already we have discussed the yellowish discoloration of the skin as well as eyes. Similarly reddening of the uh, urine where the blood is going to be present in the urine as well as uh, any muscle pain and muscle disintegration should be immediately uh, monitored and this combination should be stopped whenever these symptoms are observed. Right, so that's about the one of the potential drug interaction between the etorvastatin and gemfibrogel.